Hello, so the question's been asked, what is 8.717 feet in imperial units? And this is a trick you can do for any unit conversion. Um, obviously, we know that, uh, like uh, this trick that I'm going to do, you can do for meters to feet, you can do for, you know, cups to teaspoons, whatever type of conversion you want to do. Um, well, 8.717 feet is equal to 8 po uh, plus 8 feet plus 0.717 feet. And so then the question is, how many inches is that? So um, we know that, so 0.717 feet. And we want to know what that is in inches. Uh, and I, the way I always do this is like if you have, you know, there's A to B ratio, then that is always equal to some C to D ratios. And you solve for one of them. Let's say you want to solve for A, then that means that A has to equal um, B, C over D. And it's any type of ratio where you know this is true. And the ratio that I want to use, we know that there's 12 feet. Uh, whoops, there isn't. There are, though, 12 inches in every foot. And so then we know that if there's 0.717 feet and we want to know how many inches that is, let's do like, you know, A. And we want to figure out that in inches, 0.717 feet. What is wrong with me today? No, just a global emergency. So that would be the same as there must be 12 inches for every one foot. So that means A, like this ratio, whatever this is, that ratio should be the same ratio as a 12 to 1 ratio. So that means A should equal... Um, 12 times 0.717. So let me bust out the calculator here. So I broke out the calculator and I get um, A is equal to 8.604. So we know then our original question that 8.717 uh, feet should be the same as, what did we have? Eight feet plus eight inches. Uh, but then our inches are also in a decimal. 8.604.604. And you can do the same game again. Well, so you can do the same game again. I'm not sure how how far down the rabbit hole we want to go, like inches, uh, like every measurement that you can take has an associated error to it. And so whatever you're building, that just depends uh, on how accurate you want to be. If we want to be um, up to quarter of inches, then we would look at like A, whoops, is 0.604 inches, just like, um, and if we wanted quarter of inches, then four, there's four quarters of an inch into one. You know, if we wanted eighths of an inch, then A, 0.604. We know there's eight eighths of an inch in every one inch. You know, this is, this is in, so if we wanted like sixteenths, then we would have to solve for 0.604. And then we know that there's 16 sixteenths for every one inch, 16, and uh, et cetera. So depending on how accurate you want your fraction to be would depend on, uh, on would, would, the next step would depend on how accurate we want the fraction to be. I'll just do those right now. So this one, this like four times, 0.604, I get 
2.416. So uh, like 2.416 would estimate to 2. So this one would imply the answer would be like 8 feet, 8 inches, uh, 8 and 2 fourths. Uh, two fourths of an inch, but two fourths is the same as one half, so you know, eight foot, eight and one half inch. If uh, you wanted it accurate up to an eighth times eight, I get four. I mean, here I'm doing the A's. A is equal to like 4.832, so maybe this one might estimate to something like uh, five. So this would be 8 foot, the answer then would be 8 foot, 8 inches, and 5 eighths of an inch. This one, whoops, 2, two 1, 6, I get A equal to 9.664, and that might estimate to closer to 10, so 8 foot, 8 inches, and 10 sixteenths of an inch. And you know, that's how I would do it.